Hello, we're here to Spurs. Today we're gonna not test an operating system, we're gonna test an old PC. An old PC out of the 80s, the Atari 1040 ST. So the Atari 1040 ST, we've got the monitor here right now and it's a popular personal computer at the end of the 80s and the beginning of the 90s uh, It has especially for home users but many uh, companies use it too uh, The ST in the name stays for 16 uh, 32, the 16 is for, for 16 bit bus, and 32 stays for 32 bit processor. This is the first PC with a color graphical user interface, but not on this one, so don't be shocked. But on other models, there is color in the computer. There were at the time two more uh, competitors of this Atari ST, like the Macintosh and Amiga. Uh, in comparison with the other two, is that a better screen resolution is uh, a bit cheaper than the other ones. Now I'm gonna show you what you need to yeah to make your make your own 80s desktop. First of all, you need some power sockets to plug in your wall. Now you need a power supply on your monitor. The cable you can plug it in in the socket, and you have another cable and you connect it to the keyboard then you have to pick a power supply to put it in the computer's keyboard to turn it on and next is to uh, turn on the keyboard to find a plug-in for your mouse so it's working correctly and then your setup is done out of the case so that's nice the SC is an all-one device it has a keyboard with the computer in it you only, yeah, you have to uh, connect uh, less stuff. It has a full-fledged uh, keyboard, so you have many choices, you have function. Uh, we have also connections on the computer, so I'm gonna show you. The connections are 2S232C, uh, Centronic Sprint port, joystick for ability for gaming, the MIDI port, MIDI is for music, for better. Music. Uh, you have the monitor port, just connect your monitor to your computer. Uh, the ACSI port. Uh, you have the floppy disk port, this was like the yeah, USB of the 80s. And you have the SC cartridge port. The computer was very popular in Europe, especially in Germany. It was mostly used in cloud companies, so yeah, they want to uh, do things automatically. And there were also more models of, uh, of this computer, of the Atari ST, but I'm gonna not get into details because there are so many. The system of this computer is not Windows, it is GEM. Why they choose that uh, hidden operating system? Because Windows 1 was later than the release of the Atari ST. They are not able to make this own operating system, which, which was also an option, but it was yeah, like a big project. So they asked uh, GEM to uh, use that uh, operating system on this computer. So yeah, let's find out. What is GEM operating system? Uh, this model is uh, like one megabyte of RAM, so it's really slow in comparing with the modern computers. It has a double sided floppy disk, you can put floppy disk uh, in two sides. It has not a modulator, which is uh, in face to the other models. This, this computer, this model has not a modulator. So, uh, the Atari ST is produced uh, from 1985 to 1993, but it stopped because Atari wants to focus on its game industry. Uh, they think that there is more profit with the game industry than uh, continue with the computer industry, but there are still users to you, uh, that use Atari systems. Uh, yeah, just for fun. Okay, we're gonna test this computer. Uh, I'm gonna connect all the stuff with 
I meet with uh, I'm courteous and I hope to understand something in this old box. Uh, yeah. So we're starting up the computer. It's uh, like a uh, yeah switch on the back side where you can turn on your computer, and you're going on a white screen. You see the mouse has no scroll function, so it's really hard to yeah scroll into the files. You see the screen uh, is a little bit flashing, but it's because uh, the camera quality is too high for the screen uh, frames per second, so that's why. Okay, now I'm gonna put in a floppy disk. Uh, floppy disks are, yeah, uh, just uh, applications are part of the operating system, so you can buy it, and yeah, it's like cheap uh, USBs. Starting up the program took over a long time. It's like uh, 30 seconds waiting uh, before you can start. You see, it's a little bit of a cat program where you can draw shapes and uh, uh, make technical uh, drawings. So uh, yeah, I just tried to figure out how the program was working, and yeah, it was really hard because my mouse was yeah just not uh, fit into what I want in the computer. So yeah, it was just uh, yeah find out how how this program works. You see uh, things about the program. Yeah, it's just a ca campus cat program. Uh, I just uh, tried to figure out the words because it's all German. I tried to save this file in the computer and just push OK and then it saved in your computer. Okay, we're going to the next floppy disk. Uh, I'm going to also show you how you open a program. So you have the desktop and you go to floppy disk and most of the time you uh, push on the PRG file. And you see, uh, I was also shocked, but this is a music producing program in the 80s. So you see, also in this program, I tried to figure out how this program works. You have uh, tracks on the left side, but uh, I don't know what to do with that. I can't drag them in the timeline. I tried one time and yeah, I just hear nothing. Uh, it's just like uh, here, uh, yeah. Listen to beeps, and uh, I, you see, I try to f uh, open up a song, a project. So I just was trying to uh, searching for some information about the program. Yeah, you see, it's updated version version two of Koei. Yeah, I try to open up a new timeline. So uh, I just uh, want to figure out how the program works. But I did not come that further and yeah, it was really hard. So I open up a uh, other floppy disk and this floppy disk, uh, yeah, was about uh, some address uh, information about a person. So when I open up, you see text boxes where you can type in your name, address, zip code and where you are from. Yeah, it's just that simple uh, program. So I open up a new a floppy disk and this is about uh, the earliest release of Word. So I was pretty curious. Okay, so we all know uh, Word is a text processing uh, program where you can type in your reports and other stuff. And you see, uh, I tried to open up a file so I'm able to uh, type in something and just make a report and look what all the functions are. But first of all, yeah, I just get the error. And then I uh, finally, I'm on my text box. Uh, when I first opened up, I saw some dead words. So that's really funny. I was just trying to uh, type in something, something. But not to look at the functions. I think there are less functions on this uh, program. This is the first version. It's just like the notepads we have nowadays. Ooh. So, thank you for watching to this video about uh, this old computer test. And uh, it was really interesting. Well, I hope to see you next month with the Windows testing Windows 10. So, goodbye.